Hi my loves, welcome to your energy check-in reading. This is going to be an intuitive reading um, where I'm gonna pull cards and just give you an idea of where you at, you are at energetically, okay? Um, everything's pretty much intuitive. Whatever comes through, I will let you know. Um, and I picked a couple decks that I'm actually going to be pulling from for you. So there's multiple ones here because um, I have like a specific way that I like to do my energy check-ins. So here we go. We already got a flyer. Um, first things first, while I'm tuning into you, um, your root chakra is automatically coming up. Now, the root chakra is located in your the base of your spine or your feet as well. It's what keeps you grounded. That's popping up for me right now. I'm seeing that. Um, so we'll pull cards and see what what um, you know what comes through. But I'm feeling like there is a need for grounding with you. Um, there is a need to get a footing. I feel like what's like what spirit is saying is you need a handle on life. Okay. I feel like that's. I feel like that's what spirit is saying. If they were like super, super blunt, spirit would be like, you are, you need a grip. Get a grip, girl. Get a grip. I feel like that's, that's kind of like the vibration that's coming forward here. Wow. Okay. That's coming forward here with your energy. Um, so let me just shuffle some cards and let me just start get the, let me just get this going. Let's see what else pops up. So I'm also getting the image of walking through a path, okay? I'm seeing walk your feet are walking through a path, but I'm seeing that where your feet touch the ground, the plants, the grass, it's dying, okay? So in a form to me that's kind of saying that you're unbalanced and it's and it's you're soaking up energies from other things around you to suffice the lack that you have within yourself. I hope that makes sense. Um, I feel like that's why spirit is showing me like a path, feet, feet walking a path and seeing the like the 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 plants and stuff dying with each time the the foot touches the ground. Um, now it's not a bad thing, but I will say that I feel like there is a definite need for. Um, a definite need for regrounding. Now, your major arcana card that's popping up for you, the energy that you're playing with right now is the world, okay? This is endings. These are endings, this is finality, this is seeing conclusions, okay? So the energy that you're playing with right now is um, is kind of gaining the finality to um, certain things that you've been dealing with for the last couple months, okay? Um, I feel like you're gonna start to see a lot of the stuff, a lot of your projects, a lot of your um, issues, um, relationships with people, not just romantic, but also friendships or work relationships or just certain people in your life, you're gonna start to notice them kind of dwindle out, okay? I feel like this is a reset that needs to happen. Um, the world card is the final card in the major arcanas and I feel like that is an indication that you've already gone through an experience. You've gone through something major, okay? You're coming out of it now. You're seeing the end result. And I feel like because Spirit was showing me your root chakra, I feel like that was an indication that you have gone through quite a bit, okay? Quite a bit, and they're showing me two. So I'm feeling like this could be within the last two months that you have gone through quite a bit of things that have been literally sucking up the energy out of you but you're not revitalizing. You're not, um, it's, it's, like you're, it's like you're running on empty constantly. You're not refueling yourself, okay? And um, the world card coming up is telling me also, you have to be careful because when you're playing on empty, <laughs> you're, it's, it's, a, it's a recipe for burnout. It's a recipe for complete exhaustion and you don't wanna get to that point. You may already have already felt like you have been, um, so we want to get you kind of in a good restart, um, a good refresh. Now, the world card isn't negative. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing to be concerned about in that aspect. Um, but I do feel like because you are running on empty, we want to get you to a place where you're energetically feeling more refreshed, okay? 
Um, and with that comes dealing with the root chakra. Now, the, the fear card, one of the fear cards that I pulled for you here is at the bottom of the earth magic deck that I have is um, lightning, it's power. So it's really interesting to me because the, as the fear card, this is the thing that you are lacking right now, power. And it's like energy, okay? If you see that, it's energy, it's electricity, it's what fuels the world, it is what brings us light and you know that kind of substance. And I feel like with you, it's you're lacking that. And so with that, it also registers in different ways, not just the physicality of feeling exhausted, but it's also metaphorically saying, um, when you're running on empty, you're, you're not putting your best self forward. You're not giving everything your 100%. It's like you're giving everything, you know, 50, 50. Um, and you wanna start to get yourself to a place where you are giving people 100%, okay? Um, the other cards I pulled, dream time, creation is popping up, okay? That could be associated with the, uh, the sacral chakra. Um, but to me, the dream time creation, this is an urgency to get you out of the daydream state. Daydreaming about what you wish you could do, what you wish you could create in your life. Um, the whole power of contemplation, <laughs> we all can think and dream of what we want, but there is a fine line between the people who dream it and then the people who actually physically make it happen. And I feel like with you, it's about you putting endings to that kind of procrastinating, um, that fearful energy that maybe you've been living in because you've been running on empty and allowing yourself to finally start creating stuff. Some Start utilizing the, the inspiring ideas, those dreams that you may be having where you have all these amazing ideas or things that you wanna learn more about. Start putting it into action. Um, the Crystal Angels, I pulled for you the Azurite. Um, and I don't have an Azurite to show you physically what it looks like, but um, if you wanna write that down, it's A Z. U-R-I-T-E. You could Google it and look up the metaphysical meanings of Azurite. But this says deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. You are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care, which is really cool because to me, any source of healing is utilizing that ability to strengthen your root chakra. You're, you're now getting, <laughs> like Spirit says, get a grip. Um, it's, a, it's kind of like what was in the past is in the past, right? We're seeing the endings of that with the world card. And it's like they're saying, leave it in the past. It's time to move on. It's time to see what lessons you've learned and how are you gonna power through it? And I feel like that's kind of what Spirit is saying for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one card for each of the seven chakras just to kind of give you an idea energetically. So here we have the root, which actually came up in reversed. We have the wheel of fortune for the sacral. We have the nine of cups for, um, the nine of cups in reverse for the solar plexus. We have the page of cups in reversed. I think all of them are in reversed actually. My deck is just upside down. I don't normally read reversals, but I am gonna keep the Knight of Wands in reverse because he flew out that way. Um, and then, you know, obviously my intuition. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm just kind of like talking to myself at the same time. So root, sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. I love it. Hopefully you could see the cards. I have kind of a funky setup today. Um, okay. All right, um, so what I'm seeing here, and then your um, shadow card is the Queen of Swords, which we'll talk about after. So with your root chakra, interesting that it popped, like it literally flew out of the deck upside down. Um, so nor like I said, normally I don't read reversals, but <laughs> for the sake of this, I will. Um, root chakra is absolutely 100% out of order, okay? We need to get this strengthened for you. Um, and also it's preferred to come up as the Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands is usually very um, action oriented, but in the reversal, it is lack of. So to me, he's he's um, not as motivated. He's not feeling as wanting to, you know, move around so much. He's more um, lazy or more um, sluggish. 
And so with your root chakra being out of order, <laughs> you don't have the desires to be as you know physically active as maybe you normally would be if you were feeling much more positive. Um, the sacral chakra coming up is the wheel of fortune. This is the creativity card, the creation, okay? Like with the dream time creation. So that is telling me there's going to be, you're going to be seeing some movement happening in your creative outlets, okay? I really urge you to start finding things, hobbies, activities that make you feel inspired, um, whether it's playing music um, while you're cooking and cleaning or you know, opening up a, a coloring book and putting on some relaxing music and using that as meditation time. Or um, anytime you have an idea for a new project to write it down so you don't forget and start, you know, bringing into the element of creation into your day to day. And it doesn't have to be something super major where you're like, you know, doing these huge, big craft projects, but it's literally like you need to start utilizing that sacral chakra to create something in your life. Something is, has been itching you that you want to learn more about or do, um, and it's time that you put that into action. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if we correct this root chakra. Um, and then we have the nine of cups coming up for the solar plexus, which is telling me um, it's you're all good um, solar plexus-wise. That's your joy, your joy center, your health. You're really good, but... The Nine of Cups has a tendency to put on a face, okay? So I will say this, if you do tend to put on a face that you're a-okay when deep down you're not, we're gonna see that with the Page of Cups in the Heart Chakra. Um, it's, it's just saying you have the tendency to sometimes put it, put it out there like your outer layer is good when on the inside you're maybe not feeling so great. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, Page of Cups coming up with the Heart Chakra. To me, these are people that will be entering your life in this in the near future who will have some inspiring things to say. You may have some heart-to-hearts coming up with people. You may have some, um, like I said, inspiring conversations um, or maybe even networking. Maybe, you, you know, if you, if you have, you know, if you're working and you meet people on the daily, you might be meeting some new people. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be seeing some of your friends um, your relationships with certain people, they're going to start dwindling away and that is okay. That's all part of the world energy that you're inhibiting. Um, that's all part of your growth. You are outgrowing certain people, certain dynamics, certain interests in life and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We're always evolving. Um, in your throat chakra, we have the six of swords. So there is a need for um, escaping the, the toxicities, okay, when it comes to verbalizing. So I feel like for you, instead of holding it in, which I, like I said with this with the solar, I feel like sometimes you tend to hold things in and you make it appear like you're a-okay when, when on the inside you're not feeling so great. Um, you want to make sure you, you get out of that habit because um, the more you do that, you're going to kind of disrupt both the, sa the solar and your throat chakra, you're making them weaker. The throat chakra isn't super weak, but I feel like there's a tendency there <laughs> for you to um, just feel like you're, you're constricted in your throat, like you can't verbalize what you want to say. Um, and you don't want to make a habit of that, okay? Um, I also feel like with the third eye chakra coming up with as a chariot, um, I feel like this goes hand in hand with your creation, that wheel of fortune here. So as soon as you start getting the ball rolling and you're taking on maybe some new hobbies or, um, you know, learning how to self-express in a positive manner, the chariot, you're going to see your intuition fly. You're going to see spirit pretty much making those intuitive hits with you. You got a reading, you know, you have a tarot reading. So to me, that tells me that you're, you're a believer of the cards. You know, you're a believer of this all of this metaphysical kind of stuff. And so that to me says, you know, with your third eye, if you are wanting to enhance your psychic abilities, or I hate saying psychic, I just don't like that term, but your intuitive abilities or just connecting spiritually, you're gonna start to see movement with that. So that's a good plus. That's a really good one. Um, it's also utilizing trust because the chariot doesn't have reins on his two little sphinxes that are supposedly um, guiding the chariot. So to me, that says he's trusting where he's going. Um, so I feel like with you, you need to trust your third eye more, trust your intuition. And lastly, your crown chakra is coming up as the Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of abundance spiritually waiting for you. This also tells me you have a lot of guides 
and maybe possibly spirit like has there's there's past loved ones on the other side around you who surround you on the daily basis um this also tells me maybe there's a big family that you come from or um you're just constantly um <laughs> constantly around a lot of people um a lot of energies whether it's in the workplace or both at work and at home um so again with the having a weak root chakra this can drain the hell out of you um, so if you are on a daily basis surrounded by lots of people and then obviously in the spirit realm, you're also surrounded by a lot of people, it's exhausting for you. So you really, really, really need to work on how are you going to strengthen that part of yourself. Um, so some exercises that you can do with the... Um, with the root chakra is do guided meditations. Um, I usually do that, but you can specifically search on YouTube. I usually use YouTube. Um, search for root chakra guided meditation and specifically focus on that. You can also eat foods that come directly from the ground. So potatoes, carrots, you know, foods that are literally pulled out of the ground. Those are root chakra enhanced foods. Um, so adding that into your, your daily diet, diet as well. Um, other ways are if you are, if you like to associate color with your, with your practice, you could, you know, wear more reds or like deep browns and deep reds. Um, you could do exercises when you're outside, go for walks, spending time in the outdoors, earth energy, also dipping your feet in the ground. So you could, you know, walk barefoot, <laughs> the sensation of your bare feet on either grass, the dirt, or just even just on your carpet, you know, it's really grounding. Um, you, there's no layers between your, your feet and the ground. Okay. Um, other things are just, you know, quietly meditating and imagining roots growing from the base of your spine as well as the bottoms of your feet into the ground to literally and figuratively ground you and, and, and just, and, and just help you feel more, um, firm and solid with earth. Okay. Um, what other quick little tips, crystals. I don't have any on the table right now, but um, red crystals, red jasper is really good for the root chakra. Carnelian can be good for the root chakra. Um, anything that's red or associated with the red or even browns too, I would say a smoky quartz would be good um, because the quartzes, they come from the ground. <laughs> so, you know, you can carry one of those if you get them in like tumbled form um, and carry it with you. And it, just as a reminder that you need to work on being grounded. Um, and yeah, that's, those are quick tips for, for utilizing that root chakra, but also you can look it up online. There's a lot of articles on that too. Um, but I really, really urge you to do something like that. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the queen of swords. She popped up for you. Um, queen of swords is telling me that you need to, like I said, with the throat chakra, speak up. Okay. Queen of swords energy is all about speaking up. She speaks her truth. She tells it like it is. So to me, it's kind of like, you'll see that happen with you when you are enhancing and strengthening your root chakra, you're going to be able to speak up for yourself. And I feel like that's also something spirit wants you to know is that is a need that come, needs to come out. Okay, my love. So thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. This is your energy check-in reading. Um, anyone who wants to book an energy check-in reading, these are on sale $40 for the summer season. Um, they're just quick little check-in readings for you. If you, you know, you don't have a question in particular and you just want to know where you're at or what comes through, it's an intuitive reading. Um, so if you are interested in booking one, please, please, please check out, um, it's not on my website, but go ahead and check out the description box. I'm going to go ahead and put the information there where you can, um, send your payment and, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.